Hi, you're watching TechCrunch TV. My name is Colleen Taylor. Sitting with me today is the CEO of Poshmark, Manish Chandra. Poshmark just raised a $12 million Series B round of funding to expand its mobile social marketplace. So, congratulations. Thank you, Thank you Colleen. Thank you for coming by. Um, let's just dive right in. Well, maybe you could explain first um, what exactly Poshmark is for anyone who doesn't know. Thanks. Uh, Poshmark is a mobile marketplace for fashion. We primarily target uh, women uh, across America. Today we are available in the U.S. Um, and the idea is to really have every woman put their closet on Poshmark. And uh, instead of looking at the closet and sort of feeling like, oh my God, you know, what am I going to wear today? Suddenly it feels like it's a wonderful place where you can go get something, sell it, buy something new, and it becomes more like an ATM machine or something that you can just unlock all the time. I see. And um, let's talk about the funding, $12 million um, led by, uh, explain everything here. Sure. Um, so we just raised $12 million. Uh, it's led by Menlo Ventures. Uh, Praveen from Menlo Ventures is going to be joining our board. Uh, Sherwin Peshawar is also very much involved with the, the financing and with the company. Our existing investors, Mayfield, SoftTech, Inventus, Jeff Clavier, Naveen, have all uh, participated in the funding round. And um, really the goal for us from a funding perspective is to build out support and scale for the community that's developing around Poshmark. We have a very amazing, very passionate group of people who are surrounding Poshmark and we really need to scale up our infrastructure, our support infrastructure, our team to support them. And then the second thing is also make Poshmark universally available. So we should be available on web, on iPad, or Android, so any woman can really upload their closet into Poshmark and start to unlock that value that they have in that amazing closet. Right, because right now you've made all your growth to date just being an iPhone app. Yes, so far we're just on iPhone, which is not quite adjust given that there's tens of millions of people on iPhone, but yeah, it's really been focused on, on that single platform. We really wanted to refine our feature set, make sure that we can provide the right quality of experience, and I think we're now ready to expand to other platforms. Now, when you talk about this community, um, you got into it a little bit, but are there any numbers that you can give me? I mean, who are these people? Where are these people? How much are they really using this app now? Sure, sure. Um, you know, we're, we're very excited in terms of how the community is using it, and we feel like it's really a new way that people are looking at e-commerce. So when you look at our community and how they interact with the application, with the platform, a lot of them are selling before they're buying. Or if they're buying, they're then selling. So it's really what we call sell to buy, which is an amazing sort of way of thinking about um, how you look at your closet, how you look at your fashion. And um, just in terms of numbers, um, our women are now uploading their closets at the rate of over $100 million worth of items every year. This is $100 million of pricing on Poshmark, and typically the items are discounted 50 to 70%. So you can really imagine from a retail perspective the value of items that are being uploaded on Poshmark. Our women spend an enormous amount of time uh, because they, have, uh, uh, they enjoy that experience. It's really fun. It's both inspirational and also fun to shop. And so an average user logs into the app seven to eight times a day and spends 20 to 25 minutes a day in the app. And those are some impressive numbers when you talk about people are uploading $100 million worth of stuff, you know, annual run rate of that. But can you give me any idea of how much of that is actually being sold? I mean, and how do you do quality control, you know, um, to make sure that people aren't just constantly uploading stuff, but it's not stuff that other people would want? So. There's two things. Um, typically, you know, today I would say somewhere around 20 to 25 percent of it actually sells through wow. the platform. Uh, but what's really interesting is a lot of women will upload a few items, and you'll find that a couple of their items sell very rapidly. Uh, what we find is you need to give in your closet a little bit of diversity to your buyers. So, you know, typically uploading eight to ten items gives you the most chance of getting. Uh, a sale instead of just uploading like one or two items. So that's a really um, uh, a nice thing and that allows women to kind of give some choices to other women who are engaging with them. In terms of the quality, uh, there's two things. We have obviously a very, very safe approach to buying and selling. So if you look at selling, part of the reason women are able to sell is we make it really, really, really simple to sell. We take care of 
marketing for you. You know, we propagate your items. We provide you with fashion parties that happen in the app where you can list your items. Uh, there's no charge for it. We provide you with all of the shipping labels, so you don't have to worry about, you know, how much it is going to cost to ship, how do I ship it. We take care of all of the credit card processing. We provide the first line of customer service to your users. So it's really simple. On the buying side, we do not release the money to the sellers till the buyer has received the item and verified it. And if there's a problem, we send them a return label, they can return it right back. So with those things, it's a very different experience. It's not an experience which you know you will see in other marketplaces. It's not something you'll see when you sell on Craigslist. You really can just shop and sell uh, and, and make selling as easy as buying on the internet. And that's something which is a very unique experience on Poshmark. And let's talk uh, once again, I guess, about the investors, because this is a very um, female fashion kind of app, and, and it's interesting to see this huge money going into something that maybe a lot of people would say, is this a niche market? Um, why is this a, you know, tens of millions of dollars of an opportunity? I mean, what are you hearing from these investors? What, what are, are they seeing in Poshmark? Well, I think, the biggest thing, um, there's, there's two really big things that are happening. I think mobile and our razor sharp focus on mobile really changes the playing field in a very significant way. Uh, and, and I think when you think of mobile, it makes everything just so much more accessible. You can sell more easily, you can shop more easily, you can attend parties, you can engage, you can communicate. It's just a phenomenal platform from that perspective. The second thing is fashion itself is huge. And what we are not doing is, you know, taking another sort of retail concept or a new brand or a new way of merchandising. We're actually redefining how commerce needs to happen in this space. And that's been very appealing uh, from an investment perspective. Just to give you a size and scale of fashion, fashion in the United States alone is over a $300 billion a year market. So we're, we're talking about some massive numbers. And, uh, and certainly all the women in the audience would agree that there is a lot of money that goes into fashion. There is, certainly. And, and we want to <laughs> save women from spending all of that money. Right, right. They can use, the, they can crowdsource their, their wardrobes, I suppose. Um, and I want to ask also about your company itself. How big is your staff right now? How are you planning to grow that? Is that where some of this money is going to go? Sure. Um, so we are just around 20 or so people in the company right now. And certainly one of the big things we need to do is to add staffing across the entire organization, which is building out our community team, building out our support team, building out our infrastructure and technology team, operations team. And then more importantly, also just expanding our platforms team so we can deliver Android and iPad and other things. Uh, so really, you know, we'll be growing um, across the organization. We have an amazing group of people, and we want to add more amazing people to the company. So, hey, if any of you are looking for a job, I'd love to sort of see your resume. <laughs> and I also want to ask um, about the competitive landscape here, because there are some other startups that are doing similar things in this space that allow people to, you know, share and sell used clothing. I'm thinking Threadflip, um, Copious, and I know that we've talked about this before, but you know, as all of your companies are growing, I mean, is this a, um, is there going to be a shakeout here? Do you think there's space for all of them? How do you kind of view? I think there's space for different approaches to, to how fashion shapes up over time. And, you know, I think over time, several things will get consolidated. Um, I, I don't think it's just a simple winner-takes-all situation, but certainly winners will take a lot more in the competitive landscape. Um, I think it's the early days, and, and what you see is huge excitement in this space. So, you know, there is the few you mentioned, but, you know, we're tracking another 20 companies in this space. So I'm excited to see that this space is getting recognized and, and a lot of people are, are jumping into it. It kind of, in a way, reminds me of the early days of social networking where you had Facebook, MySpace, but then you had, like, 40 other companies, and some have survived, some have disappeared. Uh, and, and, you know, we certainly would love to scale up the platform and be the Facebook of fashion for women, where they can share their passion for fashion. And that can be my last question here, because you just said be the Facebook of this. Um, when you look at larger companies, is there a, a model that you see Poshmark following? I, when you talk about Marketplace, I think the first thing that everybody thinks of is eBay often. Or you mentioned Craigslist. Yeah. Um, so I, I think um, I think we are, uh, of course, approaching it in a fairly different and unique way. So I think there are a lot of uh, 
things we can derive from places like eBay and Amazon and even Facebook. But ultimately, I think our model and our approach is quite unique and different, and that's why the opportunity is so exciting. Great. Well, Manish, thank you so much for coming by. Congratulations on the funding, and keep us posted. Thanks, Colleen. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me.